Not exactly sure who asked, but 50 Cent has answers when it comes to depression. 50 Cent calls depression a luxury. Where I'm from, you can't afford to be depressed. Shout out to the New York Post.com. Here's one club 50 Cent won't be found in anytime soon. I think depression is a luxury, the New York rapper born Curtis Jackson said on syndicated hip hop radio show Big Boy's Neighborhood. Where I'm from, you can't afford to be depressed. For the 47 year old candy shop MC who grew up in the tough South Jamaica section of Queens, it's a matter of survival. You gotta pay the bills, right? So you gotta go to work. He said, you gotta get up, go do what you gotta do. You got people right now that's at work that don't feel like being there, but they got responsibilities. Indeed, taking mental health breaks for depression is unfathomable for Fitty, who once opined that sunny days wouldn't be special if it wasn't for rain on his hit track, Many Men. When these guys get in a slump and they just decide they're not gonna do anything, I'm like, where they do that at? He said, I think the things you go through make you who you are. The rapper who became a hip-hop sensation 20 years ago with his 2003 debut Get Rich or Die Tryin' also revealed that he's working with producer Dr. Dre on a new album. The talented twosome who appeared on last year's Super Bowl halftime show together hooked up again after 50 Cent shared that he was planning on releasing new music in 2023. Dre has been part of 50 Cent's recording process going all the way back to the beginning of his career. I wanted to know about 50 Cent and Cuban Link. As you know, my last video reported their breakup. However, I thought I saw something on Instagram that may have alluded to her being at his birthday party? Not sure. So I wanted to see what the friends over at Lipstick Alley had to say. Well, I wasn't able to find anything new. All the same things. It is now speculated that he broke up with her due to her possibly dating the game in the past. That's not what those posts indicated to me. I think, however, they are together. I think that the removal of his photos, well, I thought they were still together. And the removal of his photos was only to allow for people on the surface to think that they're not. It would be best for her law career. And that's about it. But now, looking at him pouring that drink by himself and being by himself, it seems a little more set in stone. Well, Vivica, if you're listening, here's your second chance at love. And as for us here over at the CDW, you're literally up next. In other news...